Hey, what up, guys? Dr. Man 33 here. Bring a new episode. 28. Alright, so last episode we were having some trouble with this area where we had to kill 30 of these big ass motherfuckers. And very limited supplies and uh, very limited. Uh, very limited everything, I should say. We're having a lot of problems. Hopefully we can... Uh, we f well, I haven't got hit yet, so... It's a good start. We made it this far, so... Uh, let's see where it goes from here. Oh, this is just a pain in the... Pain in the arse. I definitely learned this game is definitely a pain in the arse. Not that it's not fun, it's just that, like, very, very time consuming. Very time consuming. Compared to Jack 1, where it was like, you're always progressing, like, you're always hitting the check next checkpoint, you're always, like, when you died, it, like, you didn't feel like you were horribly punished for doing so. There's a bunch of guys over there. Not saying that I feel like. I'm getting horribly punished or anything, but it kind of feels like it. <laughs> it's like when you die in this game, it's like, ugh. Here's like. Yeah, it's kind of like you, well, you died. Here's like the 20 minutes you wasted going through the area. Hope you enjoyed our game. Uh, yeah, those guys puckered me up pretty good. There's two more though, apparently, somewhere. Somewhere. They should be in this area though. Much means it's gonna take like an hour just to like find these guys. So go where? Well, where could they be? The final two in the clock. Okay, I'll double check over here. I'll start backwards. Or so there for sure is none in this area. Double checking, sure. I don't think there's any in the water though either. I'll just check backwards. Go backwards. Backwards in time. So yeah, uh, it took me a couple tries to get through this area. And that was off recording. <laughs> but I think we should be good now as long as I. Don't die to random shit. The last two guys. Of course, impossible to find. Oh my god. Why the hell are you? Okay. Oh. It's saving. So I don't know what the guy says during those. <laughs> Oh, thank god, though. Again, like, why is there no, like, there's no healing. Like, you literally have to kill 30 of those guys with with only being, you can only get three times. You can do fourth, but you'll die in the fourth time, so, like, you have, like, three chances, basically, to kill 30 guys. To me, that's bullshit. <laughs> utter, utter... I'll go through these and collect these another day. We'll look at videos right But yeah, so uh, let's go back, back in time. Oh, that took way too much. That took longer than it should have. Like, come on, naughty dog. Like, give us some motherfucking. Like, 
I'm not sure if maybe because people are complaining that the first one was too easy, so they're like, okay, fine, like, here, you're gonna have no fucking HP bars, no checkpoints. <laughs> so, back when I was talking about, like, you know, games that were coming out last year, like, early quarter one sort of thing, there was literally, like, no game, I think no AAA games, I should say, like, no big hyped up games until about March. Um, of course, AAA matter. games don't just matter, but all the other games in came out were either less well-known games or remasters of other old games. So, I'll kind of explain what I mean. Alright, so ignore the clicking noises. <laughs> I apologize. So, yeah, January, uh... So in January there was like, Don't Starve that came to PS4. So again remastered. Well, it was already released, so it was a nice addition to the PS4, but it wasn't like a big release. Um, there's like there's like other games that were coming to other plat platforms at the time, like Metal Gear Rising for Vengeance that came to uh that came to Windows. Uh, Nidhog, I mean, Nidhog was pretty awesome game, but that came to, came to Windows. Like Assassin's Creed Liberation, um, like uh, Tomb Raider. Uh, one of the big ones was Broken Age, which I actually still have to play through. So I'm, I'm trying to play, play and read at the same time. So uh, please apologize if I uh, go, don't go through this very smoothly. <laughs> so. Uh, Oh god damn it. I keep bumping into this stupid wall. Alright, so um So yeah, so that was like uh, Broken Age came up first act, uh Battle of Z, I guess. I don't know, that's not really a big hyped game though. Um Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, which is a remake basically for the PS4 version. Uh Octodad. Although that came to Windows, like there was that was like January, so that was like it for January. Nothing too big. A few games like that already been out coming out to basically other. Other uh, consoles basically. And then like February, you got like. Um, you know, like Fable. Let's, let's talk about like the first three months, because that's basically like. Of course, four months ish is kind of like what we're looking at here, comparing to last year to this year. And, um, so, uh, sorry, it's kind of hard to read and play at the same time. <laughs> I'm actually at the spot for a second. So, uh, well, I'll keep bouncing for some reason. So, like, uh, so again, Final Fantasy, like, uh, Wolf Among Us, second episode came out, uh, Outlast came out, that was probably one of the bigger games that kind of came out in February. Um, Lego, dish, like, video, like, uh, Lego movie video game again. Very really default came for 3DS. Uh, World of Tanks, 360 version. I'm probably going around in circles now. Um, What else? Assassin's Creed uh, Freedom Cry, which I think is a DLC. Um, Guacamole Gold Edition. Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, that was kind of the biggest one. Um, Plats vs. Garden Zombie Warfare, that was probably like one of the bigger hype titles. Again, not that even that big. Like Resident Evil 4 came out for Windows, like that was that was February. Oh, Thief 2. Thief, that was, that was probably like... That's probably the biggest game. I'm just talking about the biggest like hype game, like uh Did I just go out in a circle? Game please. I was I'm just kinda of talking about like big like hyped up games and kinda of, like, what oh. kinda of going on with that. So uh So that was February again. Not too not too much, a few things, but again um 
to, to in March. I'll just go through like March and maybe April. Um, March, there was like Dead Nation PS4 version. Again, uh, Stick of Truth, that was probably like the biggest one. That was like the first, another big, huge title. Very good game. Playthrough still. Um, Dark Souls 2, another huge game. So it start, wasn't starting until about March where things kind of got started off for last year and uh, this year it's already kind of starting off with a good bang it's already like dying light there's already like some huge games that came out or are going to come out this month and uh quite a, quite exciting really um again like there's some there's always going to be like remastered games like saints row 4 just came out january has got it played get out of hell get out of hell which is the Which is the standalone DLC for Saints Row 4, which was really, really fun. 100% that game in about three days. Super, super fun to play. Again, if you liked Saints Row 4, Saints Row 4, I highly recommend playing Gat Through Hell. Really, really enjoyed that game. But again, Saints Row 4 was definitely looked down upon. A lot of people hated Saints Row 4. And so, again, if you like Saints Row 4, you probably won't like Gat Hell. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed the GFL for what it was, the price tag, the $20 price tag. It was exactly what you were looking for. So I think... I'm just going to do a little more talking at the end here. Um, so then, like, Hearthstone came out. That was another huge thing. Like, Titanfall, another huge... Yoshi's New Island. Like, that's... Like, March was, like... The, like Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zero, um, Diablo 3 came out, uh, new DLC for that, Smite came out, even though it's technically already out, I think, uh, yeah, whatever it started, I don't know, so it wasn't until like, like, the big games, start, the big, big, big games I talked about didn't start coming out until about March, so, the first two months were kinda, like, there were still really good games that came out, but like, Again, um, most of them are remastered or games that weren't hyped up too much that were really, really good, but weren't that hyped up, so. So, yeah, so that's kind of like what, like, I'm talking about, like, brand new IPs and kind of stuff, like, again. So, yeah, that's pretty much, that's going to be this episode. I hope you enjoyed, um... A little more informative, I think, to talk about video games in general and, uh, all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm also excited that, uh, Elder Scrolls Online, the game I actually kind of found, uh, kind of interesting. A lot of people hate, didn't like it too much because they just said, like, uh, because it, it is developed by a different, uh, game studio. Yeah, so like, uh, it's developed by a guy, uh, Zenix Media. So they, uh, I'm not exactly sure. But there was like, their online studios, they made the game. And, uh, so they're kind of, they made the game anyway. So a lot of people don't like because they're like, oh, it's not. It's not an actual Elder Scrolls game, it's just, like, Elder Scrolls title, and, like, people are complaining because it wasn't made by... It was published by this Bethesda, but it wasn't, like, made by this, uh, Bethesda. There we go. <laughs> like, uh, next to Elder Scrolls, like, Skyrim and, uh... Oblivion. Or it was actually made by, um, Bethesda. Bleh. Bethesda Studios themselves. Well, yeah, for at least. Because I think uh, Skyrim. Quickly go look it up here. Again, sorry, I'm just kind of standing here, but just kind of want to get through this. Not to do a bunch of computer work. So, yeah, it's basically like. So, it's not. That it's published still by Bethesda, but anyway, so a lot of people hate. I don't know. Weird things. It was a paid service, which everyone knew was like, oh, that's going to crash. And sure enough. Eventually, numbers were coming out and saying, like, they were saying, like, okay, yeah, we're not making enough, like, there's, 
we don't have enough people playing this game to keep it was like 15 bucks a month like same price price tag as like wow except no one's willing to pay like 15 bucks for a game unless it is wow because wow was so like defined and there's not many games out there still that are mo that run off subscription or at least like are fully su su subscription like um like you can play the full game basically or get most of the game like 80 percent of the game i don't know anyways so there's not many games like that like uh a few of them that still survive like that but yeah uh anyways so sky so they made an announcement that uh, all the scrolls were lined because it was coming out for the ps4 and xbox one this later this year i think in july so it's been on pc for a while and they made an announcement they said okay we're gonna get rid of like the we're gonna get rid of the monthly fee now and everyone's like hey and all that stuff and of course it's gonna be like the in-game shop now where you pay real money to get stuff but whatever who cares about that so when it's gonna come to ps4 it's gonna come as the free to play version so that's pretty hype because i wasn't sure about playing the game because i played the i wasn't sure about paying paying the game and then paying the 15 bucks so i almost did i almost did because i played the beta of Elder Scrolls Online when it was open beta or whatever, and that was, it was pretty fun, not gonna lie. Until my game bugged out so hard I was unable to do anything in the game. <laughs> That's beside the point, because it was like a super, 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 super buggy state of the game where, um, like, there was like huge, huge game breaking bugs, but it was just, it was like a alpha test or something, beta test, I don't know. Like, I think it was an alpha test. Like, it was just really, really bad. <laughs> like, it was fun. But then again, it, like, the game broke at one point, like, where I literally could not do anything. Like, everything was, like, said and all on it. I couldn't do any missions or story, but I could still go around and kill things, so. I was like, eh, whatever. Still fun. I still kind of liked it. But I never ended up buying it, because no one else was, so. I think this is my time. I'm probably going to get a PS4 version, just because. Just out. Um, see what it's like. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. This has been, uh, Dr. Man 33. Um, let's see where we are in the game. Save my game. So according to Jack 2, we're about, I think that said, we're about 50% through the game. In about seven hours, seven and a half hours games, times in game. Sometimes, I don't, that number's probably not really accurate, because there's a lot of times I leave the game on after I'm done recording, and, uh, and uh, then I save it afterwards. So, so we're about 50% through. So yeah, we're about halfway through. I want to try to speed through this game. The rest of the game, it's been, uh, it's been going on for quite a while. So I want to kind of wrap it up as fast as I can. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. See you next episode.